What's good, everybody? Today, I've got a tutorial, the EcoSafe build order. This is a build that is going to be very, very effective against rushes. It is an anti-rush build that gives you a strong economic mid and late game. So if you're frustrated that you've been losing to things like jackrabbit rushes, or chopper rushes, or a lot of early game aggression stuff, look no further. This is a great build that even if the opponent doesn't rush, you still have a great economic foundation that will give you a strong mid to late game. So I'm going to walk you through this game, and it begins with one generator, a supply pad, and purchasing a set of marines. From here, we take our two sets of marines and we go over to the supply crates and start collecting them. I picked a match here to walk you through today on Badlands, a notoriously easy to rush map, just to show you how effective this build can be at shutting down early game aggression. The next thing that we're focused on doing, with our three marines, we want to go capture an energy tower. And when we do this, we really want to focus on attacking the sentinels first before attacking. At our next 150 supply, we purchase our second supply pad. Now notice when I get to the tower, I'm going to right click or a issue an X command on the controller to attack the sentinels. You always want to do this because if you just select the energy tower, one of your marine sets are just going to stand there and not DPS anything and you need their DPS. At our next 150 supply, we're going to purchase our third supply pad. So you should have one generator and three supply pads at this point. Behind all of this, while we're taking the tower, build some more marines and purchase our final fourth supply pad rounding off our base. We also want to get around the two minute mark a jackrabbit for scouting potential. Your jackrabbit takes about 21 seconds to produce and that lets you get across the map to scout the enemy around the two and a half to two minute and 40 second mark so long as you're building that jackrabbit around a minute 45 seconds. And that's important because when you scout his base you're looking for what type of units does he have early game. Does he have choppers and jackrabbits? Does he have a lot of early game units? If so, that informs your decision of if and when to buy a turret. Now, what just happened here, I bought the turret, I brought all my units back home, all because I saw Hellbringers in the middle of the map. Hellbringers are a fairly strong early game rush unit that deal exceptional amounts of damage to Marines, our infantry units. So here it is in slow motion. I see the Hellbringers. I go back to my home base after issuing a command for my units to return home, and I build a turret. Turrets take 40 seconds to construct. Look at the timing on the clock, about two minutes and 50 seconds. Most chopper rushes and jackrabbit rushes hit with their strength at the three and a half minute mark. Also, now that we've had all of our supply pads, all four of them, and the generator, we've been continuously building marines behind this. So again, a turret takes 40 seconds to construct. I just purchased the anti-infantry upgrade on the turret that takes 20 seconds to construct. I went for the anti-infantry option because I know he's pushing with Hellbringers and Marines. If I saw choppers or jackrabbits, I would have purchased the anti-vehicle upgrade for the turret. The turret is your saving grace against rushes. You must have it completed by the time the rush hits. So think ahead, scout ahead. So let's look at how the fight plays out here. Hellbringers deal really strong AoE damage. Notice how I'm kiting his Hellbringers back so that my units aren't engaging with them. I'm forcing him to try and chase my units down in order for his Hellbringers to be effective. In doing this, I'm buying time for my turret to deal more damage. The more you can force the opponent to switch between you and the turret and back, the more time your turret has to deal damage. Most infantry units deal horrible damage against structures, by the way. I did purchase a second turret during that attack, but all I really needed was the one. We survived the attack. I purchased a second base, a second main base, not a mini base. I pushed back to the middle of the map because we've just crushed his early game investment and our economic conditions are going to soar. Think about it this way. He spent all of his early game money on units instead of things like more supply pads or generators or additional bases. We, however, spent our money on supply pads, generators, smart defense, and we've also expanded and upgraded our base to tech level two, which just happened here previously. Since his attack didn't do damage, he's economically way further behind us, so long as that, you know, we keep spending our money efficiently, keep expanding and building towards higher tech, we're gonna come into the mid game with a massive advantage. So I wanna show you guys this sequence in slow motion. We purchased tech level two for our original base so that we can build things like a garage, or an air pad. I also took my jackrabbit 
check to see if he had a second or third base, which he did not, and I'm now going to scout his main base. Notice how I highlight my mouse, where controller player is the cursor, over his buildings. I'm still building marines behind this, but notice how I'm going to hover it and see what kind of buildings he has. I see two garages. What does that indicate to me? Hmm. That means he's overreacting. He saw the amount of infantry units that we had built early on, and he's going to try his best to hard counter us by building things like nothing but warthogs or tanks. What are great counters for vehicles, guys? Air units. So I purchase a nightingale to heal my enemies or heal my units, and I purchase some hornets. He then scouts my base, sees the economic advantage that I've put myself in, and ultimately leaves the game because he's just too far behind. But that's generally how you want to play out this type of anti-rush build. If nobody rushes you, great. Expand around the five minute mark and continue towards where you want to go. But the big timings and things to remember are, it takes 40 seconds to build a turret. We open generator, supply pad, one set of marines. We then follow up into three more supply pads while building marines. Build a jackrabbit prior to the two minute mark. Scout your opponent and then make the best decision if you need to buy a turret, when do you need to buy that turret, and should I upgrade that turret to anti-vehicle or anti-infantry. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions for me at all, please let me know about it down in the description below. I try to make this video accessible, but I will do further follow-up videos if you guys need to see this build in action some more. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.